In the mouth. Okay. Legit. Spices. Tasty. That's perfect, Mom. My turn. It's so good, babe. Let me get a little piece of chicken. Yeah, that's not a little at all, babe. This edition of Cooking with Strider. We're gonna make Brazilian chicken and saffron rice, otherwise known as galinhada. I mean, I should have Siri down galinhada. We're gonna have this. It doesn't look tasty. <laughs> this is my first time. Let's see what we got. I've gotten all the players ready ahead of time because there are a lot of players and when that happens, do yourself a solid and pre-prep. So this is gonna be nice and easy and fast. Take the chicken thighs out of the fridge for about 30 minutes before cooking to ensure an even cooking. Season them with two teaspoons of salt. One, two. Half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. Half a teaspoon of ground cumin. Make sure it's not cinnamon or turmeric. Turmeric is an easy one because it's a different color, but cinnamon is tricky. Rub them well. Man, that smells good. Now we're gonna let them sit like this for another 30. But in my roll, that means it goes in when it goes in. You see that water back there? It's hot. We're gonna add saffron seeds to it and let it steep for 30 minutes. Okay, maybe we do need to listen to that 30 minute bit. There's so much security in getting into saffron. Something smells weird, but it's five saffron threads. Isn't it? Oh, okay. That's definitely more than five. Please go back in. All right, I gotta cherry pick five out of here. There's saffron everywhere. There's some in there. There's more than five in there. There's some over here. How are you supposed to do that? Why is it in this? Why does it have to be locked away in that? But this still has those. <laughs> I'm so confused. I have so many questions. Now while all that happens, we're gonna heat up some oil in my non-stick pan. But this isn't non-stick. <laughs> So it's just gonna be in my pan pan. Okay, this is ready. It says to pan sear these guys for three to four minutes on each side, but these are skinny, so let's do three. They also say backside first. I think they actually have skin on theirs. Mine doesn't. And now it's time to flip. This is how you flip really fast. <laughs> three minutes. All right, time to take them out, but first, we're gonna come over here and spray this just a tiny bit, or a lot. But with this, we are going to take out any extra juices and toss them onto other things. Not the sides, or it'll burn the plastic. Ask me how I know. Now we cook the bell pepper. And the onion. For three to four minutes. All of it. We clean this as we go. Man, it said to leave a tablespoon. That's about as much was in there. Now we add the garlic for one minute. Now we add two cups of rice. But there's a little dis discrepancy here. It says to do it with parboiled white rice, long grain. Never heard that in my life. What is parboiled? And Eddie looked it up and it said pre-boiled, sort of, like a little boiled. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna find out if it works and let you know. Not doing anything. Also, this much rice lets me know that we are going to have leftovers. Woohoo! Saute one to two minutes, stirring every now and again. Okay, stop stirring, <laughs> Okay. Stop. Now it says to add the wine that I forgot to show you. It just says a white wine. This is just what I have in my cupboard for cooking. Half a cup of wine. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Woo! Oh, that smells delightful. And then we're just gonna let it kind of do that. Let it almost evaporate one to two minutes. Oh, that makes everything movable again. Stuff was getting kind of burnt down here from that last bit. This is satisfying. Have I mentioned I had a long day? Stir in the steeped saffron. Well, it's now pea yellow, so that's great. Okay. Yum. Oh, that smells delightful. It has officially been 30 minutes of me clowning around over here. <laughs> this is supposed to be easy night, but totally worth it. Three cups of chicken broth. See, this is where the rice cooking happens. Is why I'm like, why do you have to pre-cook it? It's gonna get cooked right here. Does this thing not have three cups or was this all of three cups? I should have done it. I didn't need to use this. It's essentially three cups. Is that a bug? No. We're gonna teaspoon of tomato paste. I always do heaping of tomato paste because I find that you just honestly can't go very wrong with that. And a bay leaf that I forgot to get. Found it. One bay leaf. All right, let's mixy mixy. Ah, 
carefully. Oh, this is interesting. Add the chicken back in towards the back of the pan. What? Do they know how much cups of chicken broth they had me put in there? Oh, I get what's happening here. This is gonna be tasty. We're gonna cover, we're gonna simmer for 15 minutes. Scratch that, we're gonna medium heat for 15 minutes. Oh, look at it. So this is the part where I would take these out, brush some honey on them, put them back on that thing, and broil them. But I don't have time, this took a little bit longer than anticipated. Let's keep moving. So now we're gonna put the diced tomatoes. Now these particular tomatoes were supposed to be peeled. I've never peeled a tomato before, so they're not peeled. And you're not supposed to, <gasps> the cheese things are done. Put them in. Three fourths cup of fresh frozen peas. I got peas and carrots because the picture looked like it had carrots in it. And let's just, I just really wanted them. Well, hello. Did it even say to do this? Cause let's take this guy out. Ugh. That's definitely attached to the bottom of my non-stick pan. <laughs> you need a non-stick pan apparently. All right, let's cover this for three to four minutes so those can cook, and then we serve. And the timer says this is done. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, let's plate. So let's add a little bit of lemon. He's not that big of a lemon fan, so I'm just gonna barely do that there. Oop, let me move that out of the way. We fly over these, so he always looks over and to see what kind of share he got. Oh, that's gonna be so tasty. Okay, let's redo that, get some ice and syrup. Hello, my larva. Hi. Okay, listen, it is Brazilian day. It looks amazing. That is Brazilian, I forgot everything. It's been a long day. And then that is Brazilian cheese balls. We already know what that tastes like. Um, why is there a glass of milk? It's not a glass of milk. Orchata. It is not orchata. What is it? It is Brazilian. Goat milk. Lemonade. Okay, try a little bit of this. Wow, Those just, I don't know. Uh, okay, try that little piece of chicken right there with some rice and you mm. let me know how it goes. Mm -hmm. Bam. How good is this? Mm -hmm. This is the real winner. I, I haven't even it's tasted so that good. yet, but that's so good. In the mouth. Okay, legit. Spices, tasty. It's perfect. My turn. It's so good, babe. Let me get a little piece of chicken. It's a little at all, babe. Mm, oh my goodness, it's so good. It's so flavorful. Okay. Wow. That... Oh, it's so good. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Definitely, this one's a win for us. Mm -hmm. We'll see you next time.